everybody. So I'm here today with Rachel Marjanovic, uh, the one behind Radical Rebounding. And we're here today to tell you a little bit more, if you're not familiar with Radical Rebounding, about Rachel's story, about how it started, and about what Radical Rebounding can do for you. So without further ado, she is, um, if you don't know Rachel, she is creative, compassionate, she is fierce and fun. And just before we were recording this, I'm like kind of out of breath because we were just <laughs> belting Bonnie Tyler, <laughs> which is not, not something out of the ordinary for anything that might happen when you're around Rachel. Her energy is contagious. Um, so let's go ahead and let Rachel talk a little bit about herself and rebounding now. Hey guys, thanks Lauren. I'm super excited to be here, um, being interviewed. I like to be the one to ask a lot of questions, so <clears throat> for me to be on the receiving end is like, all right, okay, let's see, what do I have? <laughs> um, I love rebounding, I'll start with that. It's been a bridge for me to, um, I, I started, let me just tell you, I started researching health many years ago. I've always been into health and fitness, but then I started having chronic anxiety and it was so intense and there would be days when I couldn't stop staring at the screen of like just scrolling through um, the next uh, health thing that I needed to do or food or diet that I needed to incorporate to feel okay. Um, I had this intense anxiety and uh, from the time I woke up in the morning to the time I go to bed, I thought about how can I feel better and so that, and also I would listen to uh, Tony Robbins and business people, um, my mind likes to go, right? Probably you can relate to that. Um, so I came across the Tony Robbins interview and he was talking about rebounding, jumping on a mini trampoline as a way to flush the lymphatic system. Mm -hmm. Never once did he say anything about um, anxiety, depression. He just said it's a great way to flush your lymph. And I thought, all right, I'm going to bring that tool in. And this was about four years ago. And uh, I'd had two children, so I'd go for hikes when I could. I'd strap one on and the other one either in the stroller or he would walk with me. Uh, but that can be a little exhausting as a mom. For those of you that are moms, you know. Uh, so anyhow, I did the research and I bought a little mini spring rebounder from Big Five. <laughs> and in the first couple weeks, I jumped so hard and so fast. I broke that. I broke that rebounder, and I posted about it because it was to a Michael Jackson song. <laughs> and I was like, "This is this is how you how you do when you uh, <laughs> when you love rebounding and you're jumping to Michael." <laughs> well, MJ. So um, that happened. I bought a new rebounder, same type, same thing happened. And so then I decided, okay, this is the thing. I love it. And I had just started 10 minutes in the morning, 10 to 15 minutes. It wasn't anything major. I was just feeling so good. And my anxiety was less and less. And uh, then that one went kaput and I got into the jump sport bungee cord system on the trampoline and whoa, my life just kept getting better. I, I became more in tune with my body, which I already thought that I was, but because I had such chronic anxiety, I was, I wasn't, I wasn't really in tune. Every little thing was a panic, a panic. Um, but this allowed me to feel at ease. Mm -hmm. I felt, oh, I'm in control here. Oh, I can know what's going on with my body. I don't have to ask a hundred different people or five or 10 different people, you know? Mm -hmm. I can tune in. And the more I jumped, the better I felt. So I kept at it and kept at it and I started making some major shifts in my life that needed to happen that I had put off. I had went, nope, that's not it. Nope, that's not it. But as soon as I listened and I started uh, implementing other things and I had changed my diet um, to a diet that I did not think it was the diet I needed to follow. I thought, no, this is the way, right? I was so rigid in certain things that I loosened up. I was able to feel at ease and breathe um, and and still eat waffles every Sunday. Well, and I still eat waffles. <laughs> I'm not as rigid in my diet. And man, I didn't realize how controlled my life was. And 
Um, so, you know, I was doing more research and studying rebounding and the benefits and started reading and watching and oh my gosh, more and more and more love and growth and feeling okay within my body was happening. And um, I started to loosen up and have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And as a mom, I went to this very serious straight place with my kids, with my ex-husband who was my husband at the time. Um, everything was serious and hard and this is the way it has to be. And as controlled as I was, I was not happy. I was like, where's the joy? And when I got into rebounding, I went, oh, we can have fun and we can do this and we can do that. I can let loose and life can be great. And the more open I became, the better I felt, the more free and the more joyful my heart was. <laughs> well, now why, why wouldn't you want to? <laughs> <laughs> and it's true. I mean, as somebody who takes Rachel's class, it's, um, it's therapy in so many ways. I think a lot of people, when they go through trauma or they're experiencing something that's um, heavy, will disconnect, will leave the body, mm -hmm. and will go to, um, you know, heavily in the mind or will go too heavily into our thinking mode. And what rebounding has done for me personally is I can actually have kind of like a therapy session on the rebounder where I'm like processing something through that might take, you know, that Michael Jackson song or it might take the whole class for me to actually be in tune with what's happening in my body. And the body has such intelligence to bring into awareness and consciousness what wants to come up. And rebounding, I feel like, shakes stuff off. Like it just moves you through so you can be clear and mind, body, spirit, and everything in every way. So I know that's your experience, and that was my experience of it. Um, I want to bring up something in what you said. This is what I found is that I had lots of knowledge, lots of information. I read and I researched and I knew a lot, but I couldn't embody the information. Mm -hmm. So, like you're saying, this becomes a whole body mind experience. It's not just a mental. Because my adult self knew this was not the way to live. I knew chronic anxiety was not supposed to be. And all of my knowledge up here couldn't, I couldn't find a way to bridge the heart and the head. This, for whatever reason for me, has allowed me to really bridge those two to where it is a whole body experience where I am embodying the information that I've read and researched and processed that, the, um, you know, those emotions that get stagnant and they, they, you know, they're in your right knee or they're in your left elbow. And when you start to move in a free way, mm -hmm. that, that comes through and you can process. And some people experience tears, yeah. um, laughter. We laugh a lot in class. Some anger comes up, you know, whatever it is, but it's allowed to move. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. And I think you said moving in a free way, which is like why radical rebounding is radical. You don't have to be this amazing dancer. You don't have to be super coordinated. You can be any age and do this, which is why I love that. So do you want to speak a little bit about that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Because that's so great. Uh, recently, I have our friend who is 79 years old coming to class and she does what she can. She honors her body. She push, pushes herself, you know, I like that word too. She pushes herself a little bit past what she thinks her limit is, mm -hmm. and then she keeps going. And she, if she needs to take a step off the trampoline during class, she does. And it's, everything is allowed. I tell people, don't censor yourself in class. Come here, the whole of who you are. There's a place for you in this world. And in this class, I want you to be and feel a little radical, whatever that means for you. And you get to be the one to choose and decide what that means. Um, any age, again, we lead you through some steps. Sometimes we throw in a few different moves in the same um, song, excuse me. But Lauren's right. You don't have to be coordinated. Coordination's not uh, my strong suit necessarily, but I love dance. I love moving the body. I love having fun. Um, and this incorporates all of those things and you get to be healthy, flush your lymphatic system, you're detoxing at a cellular level, you're bringing in fresh oxygen, you're taking responsibility for your health, mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional, if you so choose. And to me, why not? I mean, we get one life as far as we know, um, and I want it to be great. So 
<laughs> for me, I think like you can have it all here on the rebound. <laughs> <laughs> and um, another thing I want to mention too that I didn't expect when I started doing this class is the community that it creates, the connectivity that it creates, not only just while you're in the class, but you know, people sharing their experience afterwards or during, it, it's, um, it's really kind of this whole different element of it that I didn't expect when I started taking the class. Do you want to speak to the connection and community? Oh, well, so years ago, I went to massage school when I was, oh, 24, <laughs> <laughs> just a couple years ago, you know, <laughs> and we had to write, um, what we wanted to do with what we were learning. And so a big part of what I have always felt is important is bringing people together. I come from a family with seven children. Uh, we had family meetings, my dad would call a family meeting, and we all came in and we would sit down and talk and we'd have parties and gatherings. And even when none of our friends were there and it was just us, it was always a group. There was always a group community connection and we all helped around the house, we all helped with whatever needed to be done. And I think feeling like you have a sense of purpose is a basic human need. And when you're a part of something bigger than just yourself, that's a great feeling that uh, a lot of people don't have. And you don't can't get that through this online world that we're living in now. But you can get that in a group that comes together in real time. And I think it's really important um, whatever your unique gifts are, bring that to the table. Mm -hmm. Come here with it. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to know. We want to feel you. We're going to be around you. And mm -hmm. that's, ex I mean, I love community. I think the power of a group is unstoppable. So why not use it for good? Why not, why not do something great with that energy? And if it's laughter and fun and health, take it responsibility. Like I said earlier, um, I say yes. <laughs> I say yes to yes. <laughs> Awesome, I love that. And I think um, what I love about Rachel is that whenever you have a teacher, whenever you're in school or in any class, you can feel the authenticity of the embodiment of the person teaching. And that's what I love about coming to Rachel's classes is her ability to just be radically herself, freely herself, be able to say, you know, Here's my experience, yet I'm still showing up. I'm still going to, you know, honor this time on the trampoline and give it, you know, my 100%. And I just am wondering for you, when you started this, you know, you're, you're creating something new. What was your experience of, of starting it and what happened as a result that you didn't expect? Thank you. I, uh, so I, I said four years ago is when I started rebounding, but it was last March <laughs> when I started the business, and that was right as COVID hit. Mm -hmm. For those of you <laughs> who haven't heard of COVID, it's a pretty <laughs> big deal. <laughs> and I had started down the road at Namti, no, Namti? Oh gosh, I'm forgetting the name, sorry. And, uh, not Namti, where were you? I was at, um, Oh gosh, she just changed the name. Jessica now is doing ballet. Sorry guys, I forget the name. Anyway, Tortilla anyways. Drive? It was next to the brewery in Sedona. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there, so anyways. <laughs> <laughs> okay, brain fart, it happened. Um, I started teaching classes, it was a great studio. I had a handful of people show up to my first couple classes, it was great. Boom, COVID. Things are shut down. Everyone's like, you know, doing what everyone's doing. And I had to start doing online classes right away. Holy crap. Mm -hmm. I was freaked. I, first of all, never liked myself on camera. I was always super camera shy. Um, you know, we can be our worst critics, right? So I did a first live on Facebook. Immediately after the live, I broke down in tears. Mm. I start crying. Like, oh my gosh, that was the worst thing I could have done. Oh my gosh, you know, all the thought that runs in. And I just sat with it. Before I called anybody, before I wanted anybody to make me feel better, I just sat in that feeling of like, you know, all the thoughts and all the feelings that go with being harsh on myself. And, you know, I really just allowed myself to move through that emotion and come out on the other side of like, I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep doing it. So I kept doing it. I created a small online um, live classes, which still are going on. I've just I've just moved them over to the Mind Body app through um, 
my website, RadicalRebounding.com. And uh, I'll, I'm still doing lives. I didn't give up. I didn't allow the all of that talk to get in my way. I just allowed myself to process it for what it was. Mm -hmm. And I didn't make it worse and I didn't make it better. It was just what it was. Um, and I was like, I don't care. I love rebounding. I'm just going to keep going. I know the health benefits for one. I know it can change people's lives because it's changing my life. And, uh, and now here we are almost a year later and I'm still doing it. And I've moved into my own studio. I've just expanded the studio. I'm having more and more people come in. I do individual sessions. So we do one-on-ones. We have groups uh, every day during the week. I teach at Sedona Rouge down the road. Um, I'll be teaching at Amara Resort here in Sedona as well. So it's expanding, it's growing, it's super, super exciting. And to watch people change and have benefits and, and their lives are changing, um, not just physical, right? Like this is a whole body, like we were saying. That's the best thing, to see these faces light up first thing in the morning when these smiles is like, what? Yeah. This, yeah. this is amazing to me. And the energy you get after a session is like, the first time I took it, I told Rachel, I was like, this is better than a cup of coffee. Like, I feel We're ready. sex, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> There's always gonna be sex jokes. <laughs> Just come ready. <laughs> We're all That's what we do. <laughs> but um, that's the thing too, is- I just like start having some. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> And then it's off the table. <laughs> <laughs> but to go back to what you were saying too about you know expecting the unexpected, I think everybody was kind of um, uncertain at first of how they would how they would be on a rebounder. Mm -hmm. And just to go back really quickly to it's you don't have to be at any certain type of fitness level to do this. I think there was the um, belief by some that you have to be really fit to do this. This is so easy on your joints. It's so um, gentle and yet effective on, on the body. So, and you can make it as hard as you want or you can make it as mellow as you want. That's the thing, you know, it's up to you. So if you want to increase the- She won't be mellow, but- I'm not super mellow. <laughs> but if you want to increase the workout, you, you go lower in your legs. You, you push harder through the mat if you want it to be a mellow workout, you slow down. Um, and the great thing is like, you get to do what works for you and you're still going to have an effect on the body. You're still going to flush the lymph. You're still working every single muscle. You're still um, creating those endorphin, that endorphin rush, like you don't have to go super fast. You're going to get the benefits. I, I love that. Right, so back to our 79 year old, wonderful friend, Jojo, I'm sure she'd be okay with me saying she's just, great she's wonderful listening to her body and and she keeps coming she keeps coming it was like three times she's like okay four times fifth time she said boom she's feeling it she loves it so i tell people just keep coming you don't even know what you're capable of just keep coming and you'll and you'll see you'll find out i love that yeah you don't know what you're capable of until you keep trying it um, and you do get these little like victories each time like wow I didn't I wasn't able to do that last time and I did it that this time yeah. um, But just one last thing too is I'm curious about what your highest vision is mm -hmm. for radical rebounding for the expansion of this because We're a tiny town in Sedona and you know you have the online platform you have yourself kind of pulling in different um, People from different places. What do you see for yourself and for radical rebounding? Well, we want to take over the world, Pinky. <laughs> <laughs> I really love to expand into Phoenix. I'd love to expand into Flagstaff. Uh, we're the only ones doing this here in Northern Arizona. Down in the Valley, I think there might be one or two people. It's not um, that heard of yet, so no. I want to get the word out. I want to have multiple locations with Radical Rebounding. We have instructor training going on right now. Lauren's a part of that. Woohoo! Uh, we have four peeps that are learning and growing in their practice and um, I'd like to hire more instructors. Like I said, I have two resorts now that I'm teaching at, so um, I want to bring this to as many people as we can. I want new moms to be able to come if they don't have childcare, bring your babies, bring it in here. It's a great pelvic floor exercise for us women who've had children. And for those of you who have not, it's also great. 
I tell men and women, do your Kegels on the tramp. If you don't know what those are, look them up and figure it out. Um, so I see really that rebounding, radical rebounding can be in multiple different cities throughout the country. Um, we can do, like I said, one-on-ones. Not everybody's feeling comfortable with group exercise right now. That's okay. We're lucky that we have an outdoor space that we can go to um, when the weather's great. And here we've had a lot of great weather. But in big warehouses, you know, we have enough space in between. We can make it happen. And again, we want to be the ones who have are taking full responsibility for our health. So with Radical Rebounding, I also I want to bring in radical conversations, things that we don't always hear about and that maybe some people are a little uncomfortable talking about. I want to have more information shared around um, whatever those topics are. You know, if you have something you want to share, let's let's talk about it. Let's interview each other. Let's um, sit down with Lauren and myself and we'll have a chat. Um, and there's more to come, but that's what I see so far. We're going big. Mm-hmm. It's cutting edge. It's exciting. Yeah. Just like anything you do with Rachel, it's exciting. It's fun. It's exhilarating. You just feel so good. So thank you so much. This was wonderful. Thank you for bringing this to the world, to Sedona. It's added so much spice and flavor and excitement to Yay. this tiny town. And I can't wait to see what happens in the world. Yeah. And all of it. So thank you, Rachel. And We'll see you next time on Radical Talks Oh, for Radical Times oh. with Lauren, this one. She's awesome. Okay, guys, take good care. Peace. Bye. I'll say goodbye and <laughs> tap us out here.